Jason the Ratio. Jason the Ratio. Jason the Ratio. Welcome to Justin and Wade Show. I'm Wade. This is Justin. Justin, today let's talk about barbecue. Barbecue? Like yeah. the actual event of barbecuing or like eating barbecue? Anything because it, it can be so various. Like, yeah, yeah. like when you, when somebody says barbecue, what are you thinking about? Uh, probably, well, actually both. Like it depends, but yeah. Like, like what kind of barbecue? Uh, I'm thinking pulled pork most of the time, but now that I eat a lot more meat, like I think ribs, smoking is barbecue kind of thing. Anything pork product can become barbecue. But then again, you got barbecue chicken and barbecue. Beef barbecue. Yeah. So pretty much I just think about eating. Thank you. When I think of barbecue is like cooking, like you're talking about, like having a barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. I don't necessarily think of, when I think of barbecue as the food. Yeah. I think of like, Vinegar-based pulled pork, right, like right, North right. Carolina-style barbecue. Like I don't like barbecue chips, that kind of flavor and stuff. Like, yeah. like ribs. I know it's barbecue, but I don't. That's not what I'm thinking. When that's I not think your immediate association. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like you like the North Carolina vinegar stuff. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I, uh, I'm I'm more of like the the sweet. Um, yeah, the thicker barbecue sauce, but. Um, there's a barbecue joint called Missions Barbecue, and they have yeah. like six different flavors. Yeah, they have all of it. Yeah, yeah and that stuff's really good. And their their <laughs> meats are really good too. Yeah, so. yeah, for a chain, yeah. Missions. Yeah, is pretty yeah. Good. They have one in Roanoke that we go. I go to every once in a while. I really like it there. Um, but yeah, and I do you smoke? Have you ever smoked meat? I have never done it myself. Is that considered barbecue? Can I go into that topic? I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I mean, people smoke oh. smoke barbecue all the time okay yeah i try i tried smoking um a pork butt once it didn't turn out as well as the smoking of sorry the slow cooker pork butt like the pulled pork that way yeah yeah yeah. i make i would make the same thing we make a vinegar based pulled pork nice. in the crock pot yeah and it's so good you do it like for eight to ten hours or do you do like the short four to yeah, six yeah yeah no 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 like eight real... to ten to twelve i think put like yeah. five gallon in there and I think I, I slow cooked a, well, I don't know how long I smoked it. I think it was four to five hours that I smoked it. The taste was amazing, but it just didn't pull apart as well as I wanted it to. Like, you still had to kind of cut a little bit. It was tender, but it, you Mine didn't, pulls it apart. Cold. Ours pulls apart real good if you leave it in there for the yeah. amount of time. But um, the one thing it gets, and when we've had to, like, try different things and mess with mm-hmm. it, one thing about the crock pot is a lot of times it'll be real greasy. If you don't okay. know how to like drain it and or not, you know what I mean? Keep the grease down. I don't, I don't use it much liquid though. So, well, I see what you're saying. Oh, we use it a ton of liquid. I love, I love the grease though. So gotcha. Yeah, I love the oh, but it does fall off so well. Like you just and the, Caleb, Caleb <laughs> cooks. I'm sure he still still does. I, I've yeah. been around him, but when we used to uh, like watch the races every weekend, um, he used to cook like a pork shoulder or balsam butt on the on the grill for yeah. like i don't know eight hours or whatever but he would have like coals going over here he'd like mm-hmm. keep coals going in a center block you know make a little yeah. thing and keep it and just have to keep coals constantly going mm-hmm. to keep cooking the whole time but was man, he smoking it or just just cooking it he was just cooking it okay. on a grill but man when he bring it in on the pan and like break it all up and start putting yeah. sauce on it man it wouldn't even make it out of the pan because everybody's just over there <laughs> nice. like eating, like so good. Yeah, my I, I I tried smoking it on a grill, but my dad actually gave me an official smoker, so I'm gonna try that this summer. I'm gonna break that out and see if I can't smoke something this summer. I got a bunch of smoking chips, I just gotta use them. Yeah, your dad used to smoke uh he probably still does turkeys, right? What's that? Didn't your dad smoke turkeys? Yeah, he did. He did. Oh my gosh, so good. Yeah. <laughs> I would, that's actually one of the things I'm not a fan of. Not against my dad, but it's just so dry. I would, just never a fan of like the dry turkeys. Sorry, I never, I never really thought it was dry when it was smoked like that. I thought the whole uh, time maybe time. maybe it's just me. Maybe that's my memory. But yeah, yeah. I don't remember him back in the day. I just know he did it all the time. Nice, but yeah, um, yeah, that's yeah. Barbecue is awesome. I mean, you got the barbecue where people just come over, have some good times, beers before the game comes on, then we fight. You know, but I don't remember that yeah. one. Never mind. Yeah, we used to. No, I mean the great thing about like us, like barbecue too, is you can cook like the barbecue, 
cook a whole boss and button, even though it's a couple of us, like we'll bag up a bunch of it, freeze it. You know what I mean? And then yeah. Then yeah. Down yeah. Freeze it later and have yeah. like a pound of barbecue ready to go. But um, that was a great barbecue conversation. It was. Thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for being here. Like and subscribe, comment, and we'll talk to you later.